Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day. This is just gonna be a little quickie session. The 100 times the cash and the Gold Rush Limited. Wish me luck, here we go. This was my son's ticket, okay? So I don't know if it's a winner or a loser, but he did check the um, barcode. So I don't know. We have a bonus box. We'll go ahead and see what that is. 26. I'm gonna guess it's a losing ticket because he usually gives them to me for the second chance drawing. But hey, well, my husband gave me a ticket I thought was a loser, <clears throat> and it was a $500 winner. <laughs> so that surprised me. I just never know. I really don't like to scratch these tickets. They're very sticky. I guess some people say gummy because they're very hard when you go to scratch them. It just wants to roll up the latex and stick to everything. Okay, don't see anything so far. But there are all the numbers, and I believe it is a losing ticket. And it is ticket number 23. Yep, number 23. All right, let's go to the next ticket. I have a Gold Rush Limited. Oh, I'm dropping my scratcher. There we go. And this one... I picked it up at Publix in the machine. We're on ticket number 24. I only bought one. So let's hope this is the lucky one. <laughs> I have nothing to follow it up with. No chaser on this one. Well, we got our ticket number 24 and the winning numbers. Oh. I was going to tell you, when you go to Publix and you look for your tickets, their machine keeps giving you the error. I don't know, something's changed. I know that you used to be able to buy your tickets and if they had more than one roll, when the first roll ran out, it would automatically go to the second. Well, actually, it used to alternate. When they first got these machines and you bought a ticket and then you bought another ticket, you didn't say six. If you got six, you got six in a row. But if you bought one and then you hit the same button again, you didn't always get it from the same roll. They alternate. Well, that stopped. And now you have to do each one independently. But when they run out, it's like they don't have a backup in there anymore. So it just says error on the machine. But let me tell you, when you walk up to that machine and you see error on half the machine, it's like the machine is not being tended to. And I know that in the large grocery stores, the state of Florida allows like Publix and Winn-Dixie to maintain their own machines. Now there's some of the small uh, convenience stores they have the machines and uh, employee from the lottery fills them they don't let the store fill them so I don't know things are always changing it's really weird but it's no fun to go up to a machine and see that it's out of everything all right did I have anything let's check real quick This is a shot in the dark and only one. <laughs> I did not play the odds and I think it's gonna work against me this time. 
and I was just stopping in to pick up something and I thought I'm gonna go over to the machine and get one ticket with my $20. Because you know when you play in the machines, you have to have cash. Doesn't take any cards. Well, Publix doesn't take cards at all. But if you go to Winn-Dixie, you can use your debit card at Winn-Dixie. You have to get it at the counter, though. Okay, I think I busted on this one. That's not a winner that I see. If you see anything, let me know. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Just for a few minutes, just a quickie. See you next time. Bye-bye.